In this video, we'll introduce you to the amygdala, a part of the brain that we can't live without, but one that perhaps we should leave on the sidelines when trying to perform at our best. Stay tuned and we'll show you why, and more importantly, how. Hi, I'm Dr. Labby. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm an ophthalmologist and sports business specialist with 30 years of experience working with thousands of professional athletes in almost every major sport. What is the amygdala? Well, it's in fact a small pair of structures just below the center of our brain, behind the hypothalamus and near the pituitary gland, that's critical to emotion and to our fight or flight reaction, and plays a role in conscious and unconscious vision. In fact, researchers found that the amygdala both attaches emotion as well as motivation to visual signals that are both sent back to the visual part of the brain to be consciously perceived, as well as other signals that are act on subconsciously. In general, information gets to the amygdala by two different paths. There's a long path that passes via the higher cortical areas in front of the brain, so that we are consciously aware of what's going on, and a short path that bypasses the conscious area and goes unconscious. When one senses a threat, it sends a signal to the hypothalamus, which releases adrenaline, we've heard of adrenaline and other hormones, which trigger increased heart rate, sharpening the senses, and causes extra oxygen to be sent to the muscles in the brain. An interesting book has been written about the amygdala and the idea of the amygdala hijack. The Chimp Paradox is the name of the book and it suggests that human behavior is determined by two forces. There's a human force of reasoning, being rational, consciously considering everything, and then there's a chimp force which is driven by emotion and behavior, which has been termed the amygdala hijacker since it causes the otherwise reasonable person to do unreasonable things. The amygdala hijack occurs when the brain's instinctive emotional side seizes control. This can be recognized by several different responses. I'll give you some examples in recent sports. First, there's the emotional reaction, as we saw with Luis Suarez's response when giving away a penalty. Here, Suarez actually bites Italy defender Cialini during the World Cup game between Uruguay and Italy. Certainly an emotional reaction that was not under well thought out and conscious control. Secondly, there's inappropriate response. Here, for example, Zidane headbutts his opponent during the famous 2006 World Cup final, expressing his disappointment with the just concluded play. Again, an amygdala hijack, away from conscious reason and action. And finally, there's the ultimate feeling of regret, of being sorry for what you did. As Ben Flower found after striking an opposing player completely unconscious as he lies sprawled on the ground during the 2014 rugby finals at Old Trafford. These examples and episodes are simply a sampling of the many amygdala hijackings that have occurred in sports worldwide. Just most recently, we witnessed another one of these as Payet threw a water bottle back into the stands at a Marseille versus Nice match. Most importantly, how can we deactivate this amygdala and restore the normal balance to our visual, perception, and decision-making systems? How can we restore balance and make maximal use of our visual motor system for success? If we're not headbutting, biting, or punching, in fact, there are several methods that we can use. For example, we can use breathing. We can slow down and try to focus our thoughts, naming emotions as they are felt, all of which will allow that long route via the prefrontal cortex to regain the human control. One can even use the six second rule, which suggests that it can take up to six seconds for those chemical substances which are released in our brain that created the chaos in the first place to dissipate and go away. In fact, research shows that eye movement also can deactivate the amygdala. In fact, moving our eyes left and right as we walk forward can deactivate that amygdala. How does this work? Well, basically it shows the brain that there's no threat, which allows the amygdala to rest. Also, research has shown that the amygdala is activated by eye contact with others. Perhaps maybe it's best for athletes not to make eye contact with their opponents when trying to perform at their best. Well, there you have it. Perhaps an explanation for some of the bad behavior we've seen in sports recently, as well as how it may affect your play, and most importantly, when we start feeling that there's an amygdala hijack coming, what we can do to stop it, get back to that sweet spot of seeing, reacting, and winning. If you enjoyed this video, please press the like button below and subscribe to our channel so you'll be notified when we release new videos to help you perform at your best.